welcome to Books and Beyond. This is a very interesting segment where I share with you my top 5 books from my bookshelf out here. Out of the 100 books which I have on my bookshelf, I'm going to randomly pick up 5 books which I love and adore. That doesn't mean that I do not love the rest of the books. They will have their time. They will come in a different video. We have a lot of videos planned for you. So please subscribe and press the bell icon so that you get to know when we post our next video as soon as it is uploaded. A little disclaimer before we start, these books are randomly picked up from my bookshelf. They are in no particular order and hence there will be a mix of genres which you will see. The number one book which you have not read till now is my most favorite author and that is Sidney Sheldon. And the book I'm recommending today is The Doomsday Conspiracy. I'm extremely attached to Doomsday Conspiracy because this happens to be my first book in the adult category which I read after jumping from Enid Blyton's and Nancy Drew's of the world. If I still have to convince you that Sidney Sheldon the name is not enough for you to go and read this book then some of the reasons why you should definitely read the Doomsday Conspiracy are aliens. It is a US special ops mission goosebumps throughout the book it is a thriller it is a chase there are so many people chasing there are so many people hunting someone and as i said aliens and it will give you goosebumps till the end of the novel and it is sydney sheldon's one of the best writings that he has done and this is one of my 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 most favorite books which you should read and i highly recommend the second book i would like to recommend and it is in no particular order is none other than polo polo's brida brida also happens to be a book which i bought in july 2008 look at the situation of this book because it's been too long that this book has been with me but i care for it with all my heart and soul i love this book but please remember brida or polo colo in general is not an easy author to read polo colo's writings are very much influenced by his own spiritual awakenings and they are very um I would say in layman's term, hi Fanda. But if you understand him and if you can go deeper into the meanings of what Polo Polo books are about, you are going to be in love. You are going to be mesmerized by this gentleman. What's great about Brida. Brida is a book which talks about finding soulmates. I read it in a time when I was very confused about love and relationships. So it really helped me a lot. It made me believe in myself. I had confidence. I was motivated after reading this book and I really loved it. Nicholas Park is a romantic author and he has written multiple books and I absolutely loved and adored and savored each and every one of his books. But my most favorite one is The Notebook and why you should read them are novels are usually a dear jerker. They are lovely full of romance, beautiful characters, beautiful places and Notebook is no different. Read Notebook if you have to start for Nicholas Park somewhere. This is a very good starting point of what you can expect from Nicholas Park. And once you've done reading it, go and watch the movie as well because it has Ryan Gosling in it. And he's one of the favorites. And now that I have your attention while we're talking about the topic of love, this book next is going to be a tearjerker as well. Those who know me on Bookstagram know me that I have been telling everyone this is my personal recommendation and I'm very glad that as in Books and Beyond we've been able to import this book for all of you who have subscribed. The bookings have closed now but whoever has subscribed to this book you are in for such a treat. You should be reading in five years. A. It is a romantic book, but not the entire book is not about the romantic kind of a love, but there's a lot of friendship involved in it and the friendship will make you happy, 
make you cry, make you scream. It's a very contemporary novel set in New York. You will see New York sights and signs and you will actually love the place if you've been there. It is a new age love. It is not a YA or 17 years old getting in love. This is a mature love story. This is talking about people who are 25 to 30 years of age and I cannot stop recommending this enough. I read this book in a flat 24 hours and I cried for straight two days. Now one of the reasons why I love social media and why I love Instagram is I find people, I meet people who recommend books to me and ah, uh, they steal my heart. The next book which stole my heart and will steal your heart too is The Guernsey Literary Porato Peel Pie Society. If the name has not intrigued you enough, let me tell you that this is an epistolary. What is that? What does that mean? It means that the entire book is written in form of letters. Yes, which means that this is of course a historical fiction based out of a location which is absolutely true, which is Guernsey. And this is written in form of letters so every character in this book writes a letter to each other and you will wonder how come a letter will invoke such emotions in a person yes it will because you will see the entire story unfolding in front of your eyes and it has been adapted as a netflix series as well uh, as a movie you can watch the movie but i would highly recommend that you read the book first because in the movie which has been made there are a lot of things which has been changed so unless an, the movie is nice it's in itself but unless and until you have read the book you will not really have fun watching the movie there is a world war backdrop here let me tell you that but one of the very important reasons why you should read this book is it is about a book club it is talking about book readings it is talking about friendships and they meet together every month and read a book no doubt about that this is a romantic book but it also has so much more love surrounding the people who are in this book involved and i i literally have tears in my eyes right now because i loved this book and if you have not read it i sincerely feel that you must 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 read this book i can go on and on and talk about all the books i have and all the books i do not have but i have promised that i will make it top five of the books from my shelf and the last book i would like to pick up from my shelf is dan brown now dan brown is an author who i have been reading since time immemorial dan brown's books are thrillers now this is not romantic there is a little bit of romance in dan brown books but not as much but it is mostly historical fiction and dan brown actually merges facts and fiction in such a way that you will actually start believing in whatever dan brown writes so if you love thrillers if you love mystery if you love the apocalyptic vibes that the world is going to end then dan brown is your go-to guy never never forget it go and pick up dan brown the first one you should start with is da vinci code da vinci code is his finest works i feel because i love it absolutely love da vinci code so if you have not read it highly 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 recommended that you read guys this was my top five book recommendations from my bookshelf and i'm so glad that you watched it till the end thank you very much i am very excited to talk to you about other books which i have in my bookshelf and there are many series which we have planned we have a series planned about harry potter we have a series planned about mysteries and vampires and we have a series planned about fantasy Please subscribe to Books in Beyond by clicking the red icon below and also pressing the bell icon so that you never miss on any videos which we post and we have a lot of plans of posting a lot of videos and recommendations for you. Till next time, thank you so much. Keep reading. Bye-bye.